Welcome to Wisdom for the Day. This is your daily dose of insight and inspiration, where we explore the timeless wisdom of the book of Proverbs. Each episode is a short five-minute journey covering two Proverbs, in order, guiding you through the entire book in a year. Join us for thoughtful reflections and practical advice to enrich your life and elevate your day. Wisdom for your day starts now. Today is day 253. We're in the 21st chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 16 through 18, from the New Living Translation. Today's guest speaker is Tiana Coble. The person who strays from common sense will end up in the company of the dead. Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. The wicked are punished in place of the godly and traitors in place of the honest. Thanks, Tiana. So verse 16, it just warns that if people stray from wisdom and understanding, then they risk facing serious consequences, even death. Verse 17 advises against living a life focused only on seeking pleasure. Because if you do, you're going to end up wasting your money and falling into poverty. Verse 18 is a bit harder to grasp, but it seems to say that any trouble meant for a good person will instead come upon the wicked. Those who plot evil against righteous people are going to face the consequences of their own actions. In Esther, chapters 5-7, through an evil man, Haman, suffered the punishment that he plotted against a good man, Mordecai. Another example of this is Exodus 12, 35, and 36. So here's something to think about. What if you had enough money to enjoy every pleasure imaginable? How could that lead to poverty? Even if you don't lose all your money, your life could still be empty. Focusing only on pleasure means you won't have time to invest in things like family and marriage or helping others. Raising children, for example, it takes a lot of work and sacrifice. A life spent seeking only pleasure won't leave room for those deeper, more meaningful relationships. Well, that wraps up today's episode. But come back tomorrow to pick more of King Solomon's brain. For some free Wisdom of the Day merch, visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash renewed mindsets. While you're there, don't forget to join our community as a member. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. The co-producer and spiritual advisor is Kimmy Shirley. Intro and outro music by Weston McCurry. If you enjoyed the show, Spread the word and share it with a friend. Until next time, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya. Hey, let me ask you, do you ever feel defeated as a Christian in these times we live in today? Well, I have a podcast for you, God's Loving Sacrifice. My friend Gayla does a Bible study to help you strengthen your walk with the Lord in today's crazy world. She encourages you to share the gospel and the love of Christ with a world in need. So listen at GodsLovingSacrifice.com or whatever podcast app you use. God's Loving Sacrifice, the true essence of faith in God.